why don't we just blanket it? How has this whole COVID situation affected Bar Pass? As so, a um, you know, hospitality industry in general has been hit super, super hard. I mean, many industries obviously have, but hospitality has to be maybe number one or number two on the list along with like travel. And it's uh, super unfortunate. And, and you know, it, it obviously uh, it's close to my heart because I came from, I have a long background with, with hospitality and tech. So both of them. And, um, you know, with this going on, there's going to be a lot of restaurants that don't make it out as well as bars that don't make it out. And right now they're projecting um, 25 to 30 percent. But, you know, depending on, you know, what state you're in, it's going to be much higher than that, which is going to be cumulative throughout the nation. Probably, I'm guessing, like 35 to 40 percent will close down. And the, and the, and the, the venues that stay open, you got to think about this, even if they're open when when this whole lift and ban is done, what happens to like cash flow and PL after that? How long do they have? You know, so after a year or two, I don't know what that number is going to be, but we're never going to see anything like it in our lifetime again, which is unfortunate. So with that said, uh, I'm trying to pivot and basically create a tool for bars specifically to increase revenue, maximize revenue with guaranteed uh, check averages and keep in mind with limited capacity and social distancing. You know, and we're working on that right now to hopefully have it by, you know, in the next two, three weeks. That's great. And it seems like you're the middleman between you're you're an advantage for the customer because there are incentives to visit these bars and uh, and restaurants, I'm sure. And then you're also now, uh, as, as you have been, an advantage to the bar or restaurant to get patrons to come and visit. Uh, is that is that a good descriptor? Yeah. Wildly accurate because for consumer side, we're offering you know, deals that basically the bars will create. So think about, think about this. It's th this whole platform. It used to be like a promotional tool, but now it kind of shied away from that. And now it's a SaaS product, meaning software as a service. So what a bar can do is they can basically take this tool and they can announce, Hey, we're doing $20 minimums next Wednesday, but whoever RSVPs on the app, they will have discounts on the drink. So for instance, if an average drink is nine, 10 bucks, now it's gonna be seven bucks for Jack Daniels instead of the 10. So the consumers incentivize because they know that they're getting value from attending and having a great time. Uh, but at the same time, they're committing to that $20 minimum that I mentioned that the bar is uh, requesting via the app. So now the bars are much more comfortable with allowing these patrons to come in because they know they're not just gonna, you know, kind of sit there and have a cocktail and leave because now more than ever square footage is scarce and they're going to have to do something to, 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 to maximize that revenue per square foot.